Hello, children. Good morning. How are you today? Well, if you are seeing this in the afternoon, good afternoon. If you are seeing it at night, is good night. Well, depends the time that you are going to watch the video. Well, um, how are you? I hope you are doing great. I am doing just fine. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Um, today, we are going to work with science and geography. So, I want you to grab your notebook and your book, okay? From science and geography. All right, now let's start our class for today. Uh, we are going to look at, uh, let me click here, let me click this icon, there you go. All right, hello children, welcome to class. Science and the geography, of course. Um, I want you to write the date in your notebook, write the date on the top, today's date, all right? Um, so it says here, objective. To explain what the hydrosphere is. That is objective one. Objective two, to understand and describe the water cycle. Objective two. I want you to copy those objectives, please, in your um, notebook. Um, now, I have my book here ready. Um, I got uh, vocabulary overwriter on the screen. And the first one, well, this is uh, to review. You know, you already know um, some of these words because we've seen them. Okay, so the first one is oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide. Uh oh, I got on, uh, there's a mistake in here. Uh, let me see if I can, uh, uh, no. Well, no problem. We are going to write the town here. Um, ozone, that is the, the correct uh, spelling. Okay, let me see here. Okay, ozone. There you go. Uh, we're going to change the color, the same color. There you go. Ozone. <laughs> okay, ozone. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Next vocabulary is water vapor. Okay, so these are the words that we are reviewing for this class. But we also have new vocabulary. All right, so let's write the new vocabulary here. Vocabulary. These are the new ones that you are going to. Uh oh, okay. Okay, there you go. A new vocabulary. The first new vocabulary is fresh water. Copy those words, please, in your notebook. Mm -hmm. Salt water. Salt water. A water cycle. Water cycle. Uh huh. Next vocabulary is. Evaporation, evaporation, there you go, okie dokie. Um, condensation, condensation, next. Preci precipitation, precipitation, is it spelled correctly? Well, I'm gonna wear my glasses in a moment, okay? So don't worry. Precipitation. Uh, surface, let's see. Surface run, run off. Oops. Run off and infiltration. And infiltration. There you go. 
Another word is clouds. Clouds. All right. Let me wear my glasses. Oh, these ones. And then to check the vocabulary. Fresh water. All right. Fresh water means the water that you can drink. Drinkable water. Um, where can you find fresh water? Where? In rivers, lakes, lagoons, wells, etc. Salt water is spelled correctly. Salt water is from the ocean, from the sea. Puerto Escondido, for example, salt water. Water cycle. That's the cycle we have, you know, every year, you know, all the time the water is moving. So that is the water cycle. Evaporation, you know, evaporation. Condensation, it condenses. Um, and then this is a cycle. Precipitation. Surface runoff and infiltration clouds okay now what i would like you to do students what i would like you to do um i want you to repeat each word and spell each uh, vocabulary okay these are the new vocabulary all right so fresh water repeat and then you spell each one. Spell F R E S H W A T E R. That is the first vocabulary. And then we continue with the with the next one and so forth. Okay. So let's start with the first question. Question number one. What is copy? What is the Hydrosphere. What is the oh, oops? What is the hydrosphere? Okay, uh, color blue. What is the hydrosphere? Who can tell me what is the hydrosphere? What is the hydrosphere, guys? Hmm? What do you think is the correct answer? What is the hydrosphere? Do you have any idea? If so, if so, write it down under the question. If not, don't worry, because we are going to check the book, okay? So, I would like you to open up your science and the geography book. There you go. Science and geography. All right. So uh, let's open it up to page 82. Page 82. Let me take this away. One moment. All right, close this one, there you go. Okay. Now, um, I want you to read the first part, please. Okay, I am going to wear my glasses so that I can read with you. The question is there, what is the hydrosphere? And now we are going to read we are going to read the, um, uh, the first text. I am going to read it and you will follow. You are, you are also going to read, okay? You are also going to read in your house. Read out loud, out loud. Okay, it says, the hydrosphere is all the water on earth. It can be solid, liquid, or gas. There are three forms of water. There are three forms of water. So those three are here, solid, liquid, and 
gas. That we, we, we know that because we, we studied that. All right? Now, let's continue reading. Water covers approximately 75% of the surface of the earth. Almost all this water is found in oceans and seas. A small amount of water is found in solid form as snow and ice in the polar regions and on mountains. A much smaller amount of water is found on land in liquid form as rivers, lakes, and groundwater. Some water is also found in the atmosphere as water vapor or a gas. There are two basic types of water, salt water and fresh water. Sea water contains a large amount of salt, so we call it salt water. The water on land only contains very small amount of salt, so we call it fresh water. That's the water we drink. The water in the rivers, especially in the mountains, in the mountains, you know, the, the, the river um, carries water that is fresh water, you know, and then it's, it's so sweet. So you can drink that water, okay? That is in the mountains, in the mountains, you know, that's, the water is clean and is fresh, okay? Um, all the water in the, in the rivers can be uh, drunk as long as it is it clean, of course. All right, so um, you can also, as it says here, you can also find water in, uh, fresh water in lakes. You know, there are some, some sometimes, you know, you see uh, lakes. Here in Oaxaca, do we have lakes? Yes, there are some lakes. Lagoons? Yes, we have lagoons. Rivers? Yes. There are many rivers in, in Oaxaca. Well, there are some rivers that are uh, polluted. Um, for example, La Toyac River is very polluted. But we can clean it little by little. How can we clean it? Well, not throwing garbage. No, because uh, when it rains, you know, the, the garbage goes there. And um, it's so dirty. Okay, so it's really important to preserve our rivers, our lakes, our lagoons. Okay, after reading the first part, uh, the first part of, of uh, the text, now let's go back to the question we have here. Hmm, all right, there you go. What is the hydrosphere? What is the hydrosphere? Now you have the answer. Yes, because it's in here. It's on the top. And it says, uh, what is hydrosphere? Uh, the answer, well, do you want me to help you? Okay, let's help you. <laughs> the hydrosphere, okay, the hydrosphere, is all the water on the earth. Is all the water on the earth. Mm. It can be solid. It can be solid, liquid, or Yes, that is the answer for this question. 
Okay, let's change the color. The color could be red. That is the answer. Yes? Okay. What is hydrosphere? Well, what is the hydrosphere? Okay, the hydrosphere is all the water on Earth. All the water on Earth. So, as I told you, not necessarily from the rivers, lakes, lagoons, wells, underground water, oceans, seas. Okay? So that is what we have today. Okay, let me, let's continue. Remember, I am going to write questions so that you can answer each question by looking at the first text, okay? The text is what is hydrosphere. So this text, I'm going to write the question. Let me save this. Let me see here. Let me click in here, save. Uh -huh. uh... Excellent. Now, what we are going to do is um, erase everything. All right. Now, children, we are going to continue with um, with questions um, to check comprehension. Comprehension questions. Com Comprehension questions, which means, did you understand the questions? Oh, no, not the questions, the, the text. Did you understand? Okay. All right. So question number one, be ready, okay? And look, look at the text so that you can... Um, how much, okay, let's see here, how much, all right, the first question, how much of the surface, how much of the surface, how much of the surface does water cover? Mm -hmm. How much of the surface does water cover? All right. Mm -hmm. Question number one. How much of the surface does water cover? That is question number one. You are going to leave a space, space, so that you can answer, we'll write down the answer, okay? Question number two. Where can we find Where can we find, where can we find, let me put my book here in here. All right, where can we find water in solid form? Water in solid form. Where can we find water in solid form? Well, in liquid, well, everywhere, right? So these are uh, two important questions from the, from the first part, okay? From the first text, okay? Next question. Can we Oh no, let me see here. This is form, okay? Not from, form, solid form. Form, I'm sorry for the spelling. It's not, I did not spell it correctly. Form, all right, thank you. Very good. Mm-hmm. Where can we find water in solid form? Okay, let's continue with the next question. Can we find water in the, um, where can it be? Atmosphere. Can we find water in the 
atmosphere. Okay. Okay. I need to reread this because sometimes I, I misspell it. So, can we find water in the atmosphere? Question mark. There you go. Can we find water in the atmosphere? Yes or no? And if so, how? Uh, how many, next question. How many types of water, of types, how many types of basic water are there? All right, there you go. How many types of basic water are there? Look in the first part of the text, in this part uh, on the top, and you find the answers, okay? Let's save. Okay, excellent. Now let's close it up. All right, there you go. Now continue. Continue, students. The water cycle, the water cycle. What is the water cycle? Well, um, you are going to read the, the text. Read the text, please, out loud. Read it. Um, do you want me to read with you? Well, we can do it. Okay, let's start. The water cycle. The water cycle is the constant circulation of water from the ocean to the atmosphere. From the, from the atmosphere to the land and from the land back to the ocean. This process has four basic phases. One, heat from the sun slowly evaporates the water in ocean, rivers, and lakes and changes it into water vapor. Water vapor rises and condenses. Condensation changes water vapor into water drops. These water drops form Clouds. Three, water falls from clouds in liquid form as rain. Precipitation. If it is cold below zero degree, water solidifies and changes into snow or hail. Four, water flows over the land, filters into it, and forms rivers, lakes, and ponds. Gradually, this water returns to, uh, to the ocean. Water, when water from the oceans, rivers, and lakes evaporates, the cycle begins again. I wanted to look at the pictures, look at it carefully, and you can see the cycle. There is a cycle of water here. This is really, really important, okay? So we have the ocean, we have rivers, we have lakes, and we can see the evaporation that takes places. And then we start seeing condensation on the top. We, we're seeing the condensation. And then we have clouds and water vapor, okay? On the top, we have precipitation, okay? And in the mountain, we have a surface runoff and infiltration, and then, once again, it becomes a river, it goes into the ocean, lakes, and so forth, and the cycle begins again. Okay, now continue. Now, questions. You are going to complete. Okay, let me erase this, children. Okay, here you go. I want you to complete this. Um, what is the meaning of melting? What is melting? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to help you with the first one or no? Well, let's continue with the next one. And then you are going to complete, okay? What is evaporation? What is evaporation? 
According what you read, okay? Mm -hmm. Condensation. Conden condensation. What is condensation? Mm -hmm. uh, what is solidification? Solidi solidification. All right. Yes? Solidification. Okay, what is melting? Yeah. It is, I want to help you, okay? It is the change, it is the, the change of ice, of ice into liquid. Can you see it? Pink. <laughs> All right. So, um, melting. It is, what is melting? It is the change of ice into liquid. All right. Now, complete evaporation. What is evaporation? What is condensation, solidification? Complete based on this text, what you read. All right. Let's continue. Save. All right. Okay. Now, continue. I want you to skim the text. Skim or scan. That's that's basically the same. Skim or or scan. Uh, the water. Okay. Here we can see water here in those two pictures. The movement of water. Why it's moving and how it moves. Okay. Um, there are three types of water movements. What are the three types of water movements? Who says me? Who can answer that question? What are the three types of ocean water movements? The answer is in the text. All right? Now, I would like you to look at the picture the one that is um, here, picture number three, and look the difference. What is the difference? Can you tell me? What is the difference between these two pictures? That's exactly the same place. That's exactly the same place. It's in Oaxaca, Roca Blanca. But why you have, you can see here, there is water in here in the first picture and the second picture there is no water. Why? Hmm? The reason is here at the bottom. You need to read. Okay? Well, I'm going to tell you now about river water. River water flows from the source to the mouth and into the river, a lake or the ocean. The movement is always downhill. The water goes here, downhill. All right? Um, that is really important to know. This movement is always downhill. It goes from higher areas to lower ones. Groundwater sometimes forms water currents. However, groundwater usually filters into the ground. Groundwater moves very slowly slowly okay we are going to read the summary okay everybody everybody let's read the summary okay let's see here the hydrosphere is made up of all water on the earth the water cycle is the constant circulation of water from oceans to the atmosphere and back to land. During this circulation, water changes states. As, as we know, there are three different states of water. What are they? Solid? Liquid? And gas? Okay? So um, now, I 
I want you to, I would like you to do the activities in here. We have number one, what is the hydrosphere? We have three options. A, the layer of air around the earth. B, the liquid water on the earth. C, all the water on the earth. Which one is the correct one? Choose only one. Two, describe the water cycle in picture two. Start like this. Water evaporates and continue. Because look at this picture from previous page. Look at it. And use some of the vocabulary to describe the water cycle. You know, the water cycle. Okay, uh, one example. Water evaporates and changes into vapor that rises and condenses. You see, I have already used two words, okay? Um, condensation changes vapor into drops, etc. You continue, please. Write it down in your notebook. Number three, read and complete. We have three options. We have tides, ocean currents, or waves. And we have A, B, and C. Okay, these three. Okay, questions? Excellent. Now, homework. Let me see. Your homework is going to be... Let me erase this, okay? What is the eraser? Here you go. All right. Now text. What we're going? To, you are going to draw. Home word. Draw the water cycle. That is your homework, children. Draw the water cycle. You can um, copy some of the information here on page 82 in this picture. Uh, do you want me to give you one example? Yes? Okay, draw. Hmm. Draw. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Okay. There you go. This is a lake. Okay. Or, or an ocean or whatever. A lake. Let me see here. Text. Uh huh. And uh, we are going to write here lake. Okay. And then let's choose this one. And then we have text evaporation, evaporation, continue, no, nope. and then we have um, here we need some more drawings, different ones, this one. Okay. Different color, no? Let me change the color. Eh? I can change the color. I don't like that color. Hmm. Okay, 
Here we are going to write now, what is this? Condensation. Condensation. All right. the session etc so draw this as a homework okay and um, well I talk to you later bye